So let's let's talk about fintech um, and how do you envision specifically the fintech industry in Latin America evolving over the following years? Because I know you do pay a lot of attention to the industry. Yeah. So we are huge believers in fintech because we've lived fintech. If you look at one of the most successful investments that we've done at SoftBank has been Alibaba, right? Uh, and Alibaba eventually turned into Alipay or Ant Financials. And it showed how you can start being a marketplace and eventually make it easy for your customers to transact. So we always understand that behind any of these digital companies that we're investing, there is a fintech opportunity, right? Rappi wasn't founded to be a payments company. But then what happens is this company start transacting billions and billions of dollars. And then you are forced to innovate in Latin America due to the slowness, the complacency and the cockiness of your traditional banks. So FinTech and these companies reminds me a lot to a personal story. You know, when, when I was doing Brightstar and I was the largest distributor in the world, in order for me to be very efficient, I needed to run an amazing supply chain. And then I figured out that my supply chain was better than that of my customers. And I built a whole new business where my supply chain business was bigger than my core business, just running supply chain for everybody else. And I think a lot of that happens, right? Going back to Latin America, Latin America is great, right? Because, you know, the funding to South American or Latin American based fintech is increasing, right? And, there, and what I love of what I created in Latin America is we're there, but now everybody else is there now. So now or fintech companies as a Latin American, I'm super proud. There's a lot of money finally to help Latin American companies. I don't like so much that we have more competition, but it's fine. 